talk about some of the behavioral models, uh, the models that we use in psychotherapy. There are four models, basically. Medical model, behavioral model,
And also, a psychiatrist does not have to be there to administer shock treatment. He can sign as John Hancock and then uh, go play golf the rest of the afternoon. But the controversy here is behavior a disease? Is pathological behavior a disease? Is it heredity? Is it internal? Or is it something that was learned? How does that contrast with dynamic and existential? Uh, the behavioral model? Or, um, or the medical model? I mean, just... Okay, yes. I don't okay, understand one how thing a person can be existentially sick. Okay, uh, I see. Uh, existential model is essentially a philosophy that we're dealing with here. And the philosophy is, who gives a damn about what happened in the past in your childhood? Who gives a damn about whether there's a disease involved? Let's deal with how you feel at the moment. More of a gestalt technique. What's going on with you now? What can you do to change that now? What can we work on? Uh, sometimes uh, someone's having some present problems, some present, present crisis that need to be solved now, or we don't need to concern ourselves with what happened in the past. It's in the dynamic model. Uh, do we have key this room? No. Uh, this existential model has also been known as the ethical model, which is really a better uh, name for this model. I mean, that's pretty limited, isn't it? Because in a lot of cases, I'm sure there is a medical reason for a behavior or a learned behavior that happened a long time ago. So ex existential. Yeah, I'd say that it's uh, it's fairly limited. It really depends on what type of problem the client presents. If the client is clearly presenting a medical problem, some physiological aspect of behavior, well, like obesity or something of that sort, drugs would be used. That would then I'd say that you have to relate ex existential a lot with dynamic. Because if you're going to tell somebody, well, you know, who gives a damn about the past? Well, if he needs counseling, well, then he obviously feels that there's something wrong. If it's not a medical problem, it's not a behavioral problem, problem then um, he's got to know how come he feels the way he does now that he needs counseling. And then you have to go into what the dynamic is more the uh, Freudian, the Freudian that you see how you feel and how he's made these associations now that you want to go past that, right? So wouldn't you have to have a dynamic introspection first before you can go to that? Right. Many, many psychologists use uh, what they call an eclectic model, where they use different parts of different theories and to incorporate them into their own theory, because not one theory works for everyone. And so what you have to do is take the client's presenting problems and deal with what, uh, what theory would be most beneficial. Take, for instance, if a person comes in with phobias and he's scared of snakes. Uh, one of the best ways that they've found to deal with this is through systematic desensitization, where they will slowly get the person, systematically they'll slowly come down and get the person to lose his fear of snakes. And what they do is they first might show him uh, pictures of snakes, then they might bring in a rubber snake, then they show him movies of snakes, then they bring in a cage with snakes, and then pretty soon they get the person to hold a snake. All right, what they've done throughout that process is each time they've added what Wolfie's relaxation techniques, where they uh, had the person get into progressive relaxation uh, therapy so that whenever he sees snakes or stuff, he's relaxed. And he's become to associate being relaxed with seeing snakes so that when he does see a snake, he will be relaxed. Now, this comes out of the behavioral model. And that's a very effective means or a way to deal with phobias one of the most effective ways, so that if a person presents a phobia, this is probably the model you'd be working out of. you got to remember, these models are basically philosophical models. And in the real world, when someone's working with a client's problem, he's probably taking whatever he can to help. Is it also possible, though, for that same example, like with the phobia, using the dynamic of introspection again, if you could just, or maybe even hypnosis, I'm not sure, but to get him back, because he had to form an association sometimes to be having phobia for snakes. Right. He had something had to have happened to him where he associated with a snake. Okay, that that uh, that way also is 